For this installation you will need a heat gun, double O Phillips screwdriver, a metal prying tool, a flathead screwdriver, a plastic opening tool, and not pictured is liquid adhesive such as super glue or double sided tape. At a distance of about 2 inches from the screen, run the heat gun over the screen for approximately 5 seconds. Take the metal prying tool and start at the corner with the headphone jack. Insert the tool between the screen assembly and the metal case. Be careful as you will be dealing with broken glass. Start to remove the screen by sliding the tool along the edges as shown. Now using a flathead screwdriver, carefully remove the bigger pieces of glass and adhesive along the side of the frame. We will now remove the two screws retaining the metal shield shown here. Now carefully remove the metal shield. We will now remove the two ribbon cables shown here and here. It is just pressure holding the cable ends to the logic board. Pry them gently from the logic board. There is a small amount of adhesive on the cables themselves. Gently peel them when removing the screen assembly. Once the screen is removed, finish cleaning the frame. Any amount of debris at all will cause the new screen to be lifted. Take your new screen assembly and reconnect the cable ends to the logic board. Start with the cable on the left, followed by the cable on the right, the cables on the screen assembly are shown here in greater detail. The ends of the cables sit on the logic board using only pressure. They are a male and a female end. Remove the small white adhesive strip on the cables before proceeding. When seating the new screen assembly, make sure the cables sit inside the iPod and will not be pinched when closing the screen. We now reinstall the metal plate and the two screws retaining it.
peel the protective film as shown. You may want to close the screen before permanently sealing it with glue or tape just to ensure you have a proper fit. We will now adhere the screen assembly to the iPod using super glue, though you could cut pieces of thin double-sided tape to length if you would like to use that instead. Now turn the iPod to get to the left side of the iPod and apply your adhesive there as well. Apply a small amount of pressure to seat the screen assembly to the frame. After waiting a moment for the adhesive to dry, turn on the iPod and test your work.